we're going upside down. Hello everybody and welcome to another MX Bikes video and today guys we are at Ohio Raceway or something like that. It's a track in Ohio and um, super fun track actually. A very very fun track. But before we get into this video, um, hit that sub button, hit that like button, also leave a comment down below. And uh, join my Discord if you guys have not. Really trying to get to 200 members. We're so close. I think we're at like 170 right now. Um, been growing very quickly. And I'm glad you guys liked yesterday's video. Um, the 300 hour video. If you have not watched that, go watch that. Uh, put a lot of... Not time into the video, I'll say. But I put a lot of time onto the game to you know get that video to you guys. I've been playing this game a lot. And that's, again, people love the hour videos. And that's... One of the reasons I've been playing so much is so I can get good enough to make those videos. And then also try to qualify during the Supercross season, obviously. But uh, yeah, we're in Ohio. And listen, man, I've been he hearing a lot about Ohio, bro. People have been talking. You know what I'm saying? I'm not from Ohio personally. Um, I'm on the West Coast, the old Washington State. But uh, I've been seeing some TikToks, bro. And like people are just only in Ohio. You know what I'm saying? So... I don't know. I think it would have been really funny if you put like Bigfoot in the trees or like some aliens dropping in or something like that. I think that would have really added to the overall um, just just vibe of like, you know, kind of the trend that's going on right now about Ohio. But uh, no aliens, no Bigfoots in this one. Um, but uh, yeah, super fun track. Not going to lie. There's some really, really big booters that I'm going to be sending some fat whips on today. And uh, just having fun on, man. I'm recording this video at 3 a.m. Because I was just up super late with my boy X-Ray, who made me this bike. Um, actually, the entire team. It's called Affinity Racing. Um, he made me the kit. He made me this really cool bike. Look at the reflections on that thing, man. Like, really talented, bro. The fact he does this, and he does it for free, too. It's, it's just... It's awesome, man. He puts so much time in, so... Yeah, man. Go go show him some love. I'm going to put his YouTube channel into the description. So go sub to that if you want. Um, I've been trying to get him to make content, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's up to him. You know, he's been working on other stuff, so I get it. But, uh, yeah, that is the bike that we got right now. Um, again, I talked about it earlier. I'm switching to the Honda, man. I'm trying to commit to it. Um, still need to dial in a setup. Look at that booter right there, dude. Oh, my God. Still need to dial in a setup, but... So far, we kind of kind of left most things stock. Um, the gearing is really the only thing that I've really changed and manipulated. But, yeah, I'm trying to freaking triple single that, but I think you have to go outside there. I will say, with the, as far as the track, the only critique I have is the fact there's nothing really marking the edges. Whether that's tough blocks, whether that's, you know, you know tape or stakes or whatever it is um it's just kind of tough because you can miss a timing gate you know you can run an absolute heater and then you finish your lap and it doesn't count and you're like uh god so oh my god i'm in fifth gear i am in fifth gear but yeah love this new bike love this new kit and um yeah that's where i'm at right now and i'm just trying to get faster dude i'm just trying to get faster um, I'm already at like 325 hours too, so 400 ain't too far, you know what I'm saying, but yeah, just trying to get better at the game, and Supercross, obviously, I've been playing a lot of Supercross, and it's tough, it's frustrating, it's tough, but um, that is one of the reasons I like it so much, it's a process of, you know, getting better, and you do have to put a bunch of time in, which, you know, I've, I've kind of just been focusing on school and, and this, I mean, that's really all I've been doing, so yeah, I've, I've sacrificed some things, but having a lot of fun playing this game regardless so yeah man um i do want to bring up moto mondays again because no one left a comment about it in the last video which i understand i don't know um i'm gonna do it we're gonna do it regardless uh, me and ian but w tell me what your guys thoughts are in the comments all right it's just to literally me and ian make a video every monday after a supercross race um, just talking about what happened, predictions, who our top riders are. Um, we're going to make also a Moto Monday before the season starts to do a, an entire video with predictions. They're going to be very long videos, almost like a podcast type of deal where you're just really talking. You're not really, you know, the gameplay is just kind of be in the background. But 
Let me know your guys' thoughts about that. Put questions down below that you want us to answer. And I'm also thinking maybe we bring people up in Discord during those videos and we get takes from you guys. You know, who do you guys think the, the sleeper picks are? Who do you think is going to win the championship? And, you know, stuff like that. Try to get you guys involved. That's why I made a Discord um, in the first place is because I want to get you guys involved in the videos. And I haven't really done that recently. I mean, at all, actually. So that is a challenge that I need to actually not be lazy and take on. So... Yeah. Also, I'm gonna I'm gonna rate this track out of ten. I really haven't been doing that recently, but my videos haven't really been track reviews, I guess. Um, and I will give this track an 8.5 out of 10. Super, just smooth track. The scaling's great. Um, the ruts are great. I I think as far as E road goes, I haven't really rutted it up. It doesn't rut too bad at all. Um, but I don't know. I'm not a big E road guy. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I don't know why that is. Um, in arcade motocross games, I'm a huge E Road guy, but I don't know. Um, I'm not a huge fan of MX Bikes E Road. Maybe that's a crazy take. Um, I think there's a lot of room to improve, but it is what it is. Um, some tracks do very well with it. Some tracks not. Um, yeah, I need to start running E Road anyway because I need to get used to it. Because if I'm gonna even try to ride. Um, you know, amateur supercross even, I'm gonna need to, you know, to learn how to ride with E-Road anyway, so. Yes, sir. Yes, freaking sir. Man, I love this bike. Do a little third person here. I don't know why it's shaking so much. I think it's this track. Some parts are just like, the bike shakes for some reason. But look at this, dude. Oh god, I did not calculate it. I did not get Dude, look at the reflections, bro. So freaking cool. Right, a little static too, so you guys can get a little bit better view of the bike and how, it, how its reflections work. Because there, dude, there are some details in this thing that are very minute at first glance, but they make the bike look a lot better. You know, with the fat bar and just the overall form of it. Um, it looks sick. It looks very sick. I am not going to lie to you. Dude, static camera? I don't know what it is, man. I've found my, I can find myself riding very, very consistently in static. Not as fast, I would say. Well, I guess, yeah. It is tough not seeing where your body is kind of, you know, leaning and such, but I'm not against it. I mean, if you're a static guy, then, you know, I guess I can somewhat understand it. Having that low camera angle kind of helps you with, you know, cornering and sticking in ruts and just knowing where that front tire is at. But yeah, now we're going to try to run a heater on this next lap. That is the goal. Here we go. Here we freaking go. Let's see how long we make it. outside here might be a mistake and we tuck the front boys <laughs> oh I'm dead inside um yeah it happens it does happen especially when you're in a higher gear um you're just getting less grip when you're trying to turn for whatever freaking reason that is I don't know I don't know what the reason is but Let's go back in. All right, we're good. We are good. Do we have any Ohio natives in the freaking watching this video? If you're from Ohio, put it in the comments, bro. I'm honestly interested. What's it like down there, dude? Is this is this track just a cover up from what's really going on down there, bro? Are the aliens already invaded? I don't know. But again, I think this track creator missed a huge opportunity with where Ohio stands in the freaking state of social media at the moment. Oh, God. We were dead. Oh, look at that bike, bro. Can we just admire that thing? Can we just take a second to admire the beauty? All right. Oh, God. We're going upside down. 
Oh my god, brother. All right, we're, we're down again. We're down again. I'm telling you, I can throw an actual magnificent off this thing. An actual magna. Because I'm cracked like that, if you ask me. I'm kind of cracked. I mean, you can't complain with that one, boys. You can never complain with that. That is going to actually end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Kind of a laid back, just eh, video. Talk to you guys about my kit and my future plans with the Moto Mondays. Hope to hear you guys' feedback in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.